Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at the best graphics card for Eisvin 10700 in the market for this year. First we're going to show you our top 10 best picks and we'll talk about what you should look for before buying a best graphics card for Eisvin 10700. You can find links to all of the products we've mentioned in this video down in the description below. Let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have GeForce RTX 3090. If you're an experienced gamer, you will definitely know more about NVIDIA and its GeForce RTX graphics card series than us. Every customer who has bought GeForce RTX 3090 is playing games happily with satisfied product reviews. Obviously, numerous Ultra Edge features and specs are enough for excellent performance. The card has NVIDIA's second-generation RTX Ampere architecture with ray tracing technologies for more advanced and realistic graphics improvements. Further, the AI performance ensures you enjoy appealing visuals and gaming scenes with this best GPU for Icefin 10700. You get a massive 24-bit GDDR6 memory based on a 384-bit memory interface, perfect for keeping running AA titles games at the highest settings. Some important specifications include 10,496 key to core, a base frequency of 1400 ms that can ramp up to 1700 ms and second-generation ray tracing cores for real-life gaming experience, perfect for performance, speed, cooling, and more. It has got multi-monitor support to run four monitors and has three display port ports and one HDMI 2.1 for the purpose. The title of being the best fastest GPU for Eisvin 10700 is totally valid when we talk about its real performance stats. You can enjoy four graphics resolution with a perfect combination of the highest FPS and three-digit refresh rate. However, the FPS reduces to 60 FPS when we fetch 8 quality. Moving on to the next at number 2 with RTX 2080 Ti. Who doesn't need the best GPU to pair with Eisen 9700? Obviously, no one. This is why we have the RTX 2080 Ti on our list from NVIDIA's famous GeForce RTX lineup. The tech enthusiasts who are looking to build a top performance workstation with a powerful GPU must go for this card. It has 11 but ultra fast GDDR6 memory, enough for playing high resolution games with a pretty impressive refresh rate and FPS. Further, it is powered by NVIDIA turning GPU architecture featuring an all-new RTX platform and technologies allowing faster performance, real-time ray tracing, enhanced graphics quality, and AI gaming experience. The card has the latest 202 GPU unit, 4,352 NVIDIA CUDA cores processors adequate for gaming, 11 memory capacity with 352-bit memory bus in 616-S memory bandwidth, 78 RTX ops, 72 ray tracing cores, 576 tensor cores, and 96 ROP units. Further, the base clock frequency of 1,350 ms can ramp up to 1,635 ms, depending upon your requirement. However, the maximum boost clock is 9 times lesser than the Founder Edition variant of this card. Talking about the resolution efficiency, it is the best 4 GPU for Eisen 10700 with 60 plus FPS and a 3 digit refresh rate. The number 3 position is held by Radeon RX 6800 XT. AMD is back with an all-new high-end GPU, the Radeon RX 6800 XT, with an attractive set of features and advanced specifications. Performance-wise, it's an excellent choice, even taking over the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 in many games plus has a hard-catching price tag. It is based on Team Red's RDNA 2 GPU architecture that uses a 7 of manufacturing process, plus the company has installed numerous powerful technologies to boost the efficiencies over predecessors. The card uses a more significant die that allows the game clock speed of 250 ms to boost up to 2,250 ms, hence card is designed to tackle super bursty gaming loads without lacking in performance. Further, the card has 16 of GDDR6 memory and uses an infinity cache of 128 in global cache, which is essential when the card has GDDR6 memory instead of GDDR6 time. The cache transfers data from VRAM to the GPU while resulting in 2.4 times enhanced bandwidth than the VRAM itself. Other crucial specs include 72 computing units, 72 ray accelerators, 128 ROPs, 4,806 stream processors, and 288 texture units. Talking about the graphics quality, this best AMD GPU for Eisen 10700 is a perfect choice for Ford resolution. It will boost your gaming experience with a ray tracing facility, plus save some bucks in your pocket. 
Next at number 4 we have GeForce RTX 3080. The GeForce RTX 3080 is the first third-party graphics card launched in the GeForce RTX 30 series with numerous modern gaming aspects. Interestingly, NVIDIA has done a ton of research and modified the PCB design along with the cooling performance of the Founder Edition cards. The NVIDIA's Anther GPU architecture is enough to power up this card plus optimally run other technologies, like Microsoft DirectX 12 Ultimate and NVIDIA DLSS, Ansel, GPU Boost, and more during intense gaming sessions. Further, the card features second-generation ray tracing cores for making the scenes more like the real world, and third-generation Tensor cores help in boosting AI gaming performance. If we take a look at the specs chart, the important ones include Tango GDDR6 memory based on 320-bit memory architecture with 19 slash SM memory speed and 8704 CUDA cores. It has a base clock speed of 1.44s that can be uplifted up to 1.71s during the testing sessions. We recorded more clock speed than the official data told us. It is only one aspect making this card the best gaming GPU for ISO 10700. We know that you're curious to know about the graphics quality it can deliver. So, we could fetch 4 resolution graphics at max settings, however, we had to compromise over FPS at 8 quality. The number 5 position is held by GeForce RTX 3060. Now we have GeForce RTX 3060 on our list where we're trying to figure out the best graphics card for Intel ISO 9700. Out of the whole GeForce generation, the NVIDIA 60 class was declared as the best-selling series. We have seen NVIDIA Anther GPU architecture in the 30 series as a replacement for aging Turing architecture, and the series comes with exceptional performance compared to the 20 series cards. Besides the excellent gaming efficiencies, the affordable price tag is another reason to call this card the best mainstream GPU for ISO 10700. If you have a tight budget, this card with ray tracing enabled can be the best choice. It has 12 of GDDR6 memory based on a 192-bit memory interface. Most of the crucial specs of the card include GAN 106 chipset, 3584 CUDA cores, 48 ROPS, 218 RT cores, 112 Tensor cores, and has PCIe 4.0 support. Further. It has a 1.30 tubes base clock speed that can increase up to 1.78 and is enough to support the gaming low plus the processor capabilities. We found it a perfect option for 1008 at and 1404 at, at maximum settings when we tested the card. However, it is limited to playing games above 1404 at quality and inconvenient to tackle demanding tasks. The number 6 position is dominated by Radeon RX 6700 XT. If you're a tech enthusiast, you must have heard about the advancements AMD makes every minute in its technologies and products. The AMD Radeon RX 6700 XT graphics card is powered by RDNA 2 GPU architecture or Big Navi featuring numerous current era features. Most importantly, it has made RDNA 2 architecture more easily accessible to tight budget customers and offers mid-range prices. Performance-wise, it falls between NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 3060 tie and RTX 3070 with impressive performance stats. If I simplify for you, it's one of the best GPU for ISO 10700 with impressive AA gaming efficiencies and excellent content creation strategies. Looking at the price, performance, graphics quality, and more, it becomes the best budget 1440 GPU for ISO 10700 without taking too much time. The product's design is similar to the other cards in the RDNA lineup, with numerous honed angles, red lettering, a silver band up to the middle, and a pair of fans having the letter R written in the middle. The card has no RGB lighting, however, the red Radeon branding lights up with a red light and beautifully merges with the red accents around the card's sides. Moreover, the card has an A plus 6 power configuration and a maximum TDP requirement of 230 watts. Moving on to the next at number 7 with PMY GeForce RTX 3070. We have GeForce RTX 3070 ready to uplift the gaming performance standing in front of numerous graphics cards. NVIDIA has mentioned that this card can provide similar gaming performance as the previous generation RTX 2080 tie at a much lower price. Moreover, it performs the same or more than the previous generation flagship graphics cards. You can see tons of improvements in current era features in the card that mostly premium and high-end cards do. The manufacturer has quoted this card can deliver jaw-dropping 4 graphics without breaking the bank, and this statement is valid for this best graphics card for Intel ISO 9700. Moreover, the card comprises 2nd generation ray tracing core and 3rd generation tensor cores and advanced graphics technologies. 
you can enjoy much faster ray tracing and more efficient DLSS performance. Are you still not impressed by this card? If so, then take a look at its power efficient strategies. The card has only 220 watts of graphics power requirement, which is 100 watts fewer than the RTX 3080. You would know that lower power reduces the power expense as well as you don't need a bigger size card with more oversized heatsinks and stuff like that. The car can work out with a mid-level cooling system. The number 8 position is held by Radeon RX 6800. The AMD Radeon RX 6800 is a welcome addition and more affordable option. It comes under the RX 6800 and RX 6900 with pretty solid features and performance. You can consider it an alternative to the NVIDIA high-end graphics items with pretty much similar gaming efficiency. If we closely compare it with the RTX 3070, it has a 5-15% enhancement in performance, however, it also costs approximately 10% more. When you take a close look over its engine, this best GPU for Ison 10700 is based on AMD RDNA 2 GPU architecture used by all the current ear cards from the brand. Interestingly, it's the same technology behind PS5 and Xbox Series X. You can expect excellent 1404 nit graphics quality with a 3-digit refresh rate and impressive FPS. It has two DisplayPort 1.4 ports, one HDMI 2.1 port, and one USB Type-C port so that you can enjoy all-rounder connectivity options. Like the RX 6800, it has a die-cast aluminum backplate, shroud, frame, and other structures made from the same material. Further, the cooling performance is ensured via sturdy triple fan design, a more oversized heatsink, and wider vents on the rear and sides of the car. It doesn't stop her. The design contains black trim with a silver stripe at the front plus more giant silver strips on the back. Next at number 9 we have Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1660 Super. Do you use your home setup, in addition to your job, to work extra on various hobbies or as a secondary workstation? Do you like sitting back occasionally and spending some quality time with your other gamer buddies or getting a kid you want to entertain once you finish your job? This is the category for you then. This is why we chose a different graphics card, one that even at 1,400 is a decent performer and still comes with a very good value. The launch of the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super, which is a fantastic purchase at around $230. 6 GB of GDDR6 memory comes with this efficient Turing card. The decent 1080 at performer at any refresh rate and capable in most games of driving a 1,400 at display. By exploiting the Q to capabilities of the graphics card, software such as Adobe Suite, Threads Max, Maya, and other similar productivity applications will make use of the GPU. Thus, part of the load that the processor alone can previously manage can be moved to the Q to cores, and the CPU and GPU can work together and more responsively in this way. With regard to which particular card to purchase, with most GTX 1660 Super implementations, you can't really go wrong. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by MSI Gaming Radeon RX 5700 XT. This one is famous as well as the previous group. There are many consumers out there who can work or have jobs from home that allow them to have gaming time on a daily basis. I know that because I'm one of them myself. The GPU of choice for such a person really depends on the performance levels he expects. But if you expect smooth performance in a large number of current games, we have a good recommendation for you. We don't know what you play but we know for sure that you're going to love the graphics card for these categories. Both the AMD Radeon RX 5700 series cards are based on the GPU and are manufactured on the 7 and 5th process of TSMC and consist of 10.3 billion transistors with a meager 251mm2 of these chips. It exposes 40 compute units of RDNA, the Navi architecture name, each with 64 stream processors, totaling 2560 ALUs across the processor. Just as they did in the graphics core next design of AMD, the CUS hosts four texture units, adding up to 160 in a full Navi GPU that has 64 ROPs. We claim 90 FPS because the majority of VR headsets suggest the recommended frame rate to keep you from feeling dizzy or nauseous. Given this 90 FPS sweet spot, having a lower GPU than the RX 5700 will restrict the games you can play. For this RX 5700's graphics card, some of the best implementations come from MSI and Sapphire. Sapphire's Pulse lineup, which is constructed with sufficient coolers, good factory oc, backplates, and general standard materials, are of great value, they are also very quiet. That's all for today.
We upload computer and accessories product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.